Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be looking at how you as a musician can use the app Switcher Studio to help record your music and also live stream. It's been a while since I've done a video, it's been a holiday here in the UK and also reframing what I'm going to be doing with my YouTube channel over the coming months. So look out for some changes, look out for some improvements including background music, including titling, including all sorts of excellent and interesting things. So in this series I'm going to be looking at Switcher Studio and all the ways in which you can use it to help make you make your music masterpiece more effectively, quickly and for relatively low budget. So if you are new here and you would like to make your music masterpiece then please click subscribe and the bell so that you don't miss a beat and hang around until the end of the video because there will be some exclusive activity and announcements that you might be interested in as a music maker as well. Okay so Switcher Studio is an app that I've been using for about a year and a half now and it allows you to use multiple iOS devices in order to be able to record, edit and also shoot your event, your activity from multiple camera angles. Now this is really interesting for musicians because if you are in a studio, if you are out and about, if you want to record your music video then the phone or the iPad is the way to go because the cameras have really improved over the last few years and you can shoot 4K, you can shoot 1080p and using free editing software like iMovie or equivalent you can actually make some very interesting and exciting result. So basically today we're going to be looking at how you can set up the app, what you need to do, the kind of equipment that's involved and an example of a live stream that we can do. So here we are in the Switcher Studio view and you can see the moment I have got my website on the screen. This is possible because I'm using an app on the Apple Mac called Switcher Cast and it is also available to let you become one of your sources as well and I can switch to my main view obviously you'll be able to see my face but it's obscured by the camera. I've got a main camera view and I've also got an over the shoulder view which you can see here as I tap the screen and I can turn around and go hello now I've got some devices this is super useful for you to be able to do this when you are a musician and a music maker because not only can you have different views you can also as you speak you can refer people to your website you can refer people to a different instrumental angle you can do all sorts of different possibilities so we can do a quick demo of how that would look so you've got the main view here and I will then add in maybe a side by side view if I wanted to I could say right I want to have my face but I want to have my camera to show you the chords this would be a really nice way of doing tutorials for example or as I am playing you can have a look at this website here and I will leave a link for that in the description below you can of course switch those around so you might think well I want to just think well I want the main view and then have my guitar as a little view on the other side so I can click that view here and and of course in settings you can slide these along so if, for example if you're a bit out of frame you can actually change this framing a side by side view is quite straightforward as well you can snap between these views or you can do transitions so I can change to a cross dissolve I can tap that here quite nicely so if I wanted to go back into this one it's nice and smooth nice and buttery smooth and I could just go and change my views as much as I possibly wanted to so I could do that I could have my face and and it's nice and smooth. I can do wipes, I can do cubes, I can do all sorts of different views as well. So I can change the timing for each of these and it's very very useful. So Switcher Studio has a, an enviable and infinite number of possibilities for you to use as a musician. And as I say I use it to make my weekly YouTube videos but you can use it for shooting a video, shooting a how-to tutorial, if you've got pupils you could teach and you wanted to make bespoke resources. It's a really useful way of utilizing your skills to be able to bring what you do to life to make it more creative more imaginative so I could switch to this view and I could set a picture-in-picture -picture view so I could tap the main guitar view which you can see my hands here and I can also have my guitar and I can add in my face or if you wanted you could actually reverse that round you can actually have my face as the main one and then you can maybe add in camera as the second view so here it would be here like this so obviously I've got my mic in front of me and my hands are here obviously if you didn't want your hand to be in view you could have my hand showing chords so I could of course so of course I could do that and have my face singing away or if I thought no I wanted to have the camera on my guitar as the main view then I would just deselect my face and go straight to the camera So 
of course my guitar is not plugged in I do have a mixer for this and I'm going to show you in a separate video the setup that you can use that's very simple to help promote your performance using a multi-camera angle now of course I'm using this at home but if you were out and about you would either have to use 4G which you can do the only problem with that is you would need to have power supply for your cameras with power supplies for your cameras you would find that the power of the battery will get soaked up so quickly so you may have to have some external battery supply portable battery supplies and indeed some people use portable networking so they'll use a device either like a live view or something where they'll provide a tethered a Wi-Fi 4G signal over two different sources bond it together as one and you'll be able to then feed those cameras those iOS devices into those feeds as well very very useful for all sorts of different applications so I've seen it used in music making I've seen it used in religious events I've seen it done in all sorts so this is a really useful application I absolutely love it the team over at Switcher Studio are super helpful and they've got a great Facebook page which I'll link in the description below and if you would like to have a copy of this app then I will leave a link in the description for you as well to get 10% off try it for two weeks for free and of course you can then subscribe to a monthly plan if you wish to I certainly do and it is brilliant one other facet of this you can actually bring in conversations so not only can you test to see if you've got someone that you want to bring in for a live jam for example you can actually get them a link that will then provide their camera as an additional source and it gets sent straight to you and you can then have them as a collab in your video and they don't even have to be in the same part of the UK or the same part of the country or the same part of the world you can be all over so it's quite an exciting application so there are quite a few composers who are starting to do live streaming they're using Twitch or using Mixer streaming platforms will be a fantastic opportunity for you to build on your music making opportunities and build your audience so that eventually you can move into live and sell tickets and other things that go with that as well. The world of music making and being a musician is very much changing so if you are someone who wants to know how to make your music masterpiece then don't forget to tap subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss a beat. I'd have got lots of playlists on different facets of music making from how you can use different apps, how you can use different sound libraries, how you can have a basic setup, how to compose in 15 minutes, all sorts of things. And I'll leave links to those in the description below, as well as other things that you can probably find quite interesting as well. If you want to follow me on my Facebook page, I do lots of Facebook Live events on Friday nights, and you can enjoy me for a bit of a music masterpiecery. If you want to know more about Switcher Studio, Switcher Studio is a really, has a really good community and they've got a really good page on Facebook and they've got lots of videos on YouTube where you can check them out. I'll leave a link to their channel below as well. So I can actually take a phone, hold it in my hand or on a gimbal or whatever I would like and then I can actually add this in. To add in a source quite straightforward you would go to your uh, device you would click on switcher studio app and you would hit remote camera mode and then what you would do is you would then click the plus icon on your screen click cameras and then you would be able to add in your source and you can also set this source to add automatically so you don't have to and there you go you've got a device that you could then use so you can actually have that facing you or facing an instrument so in which case I could actually have this facing my keyboard and I could have number of views I could have multiple views so this app is really good on old iPad devices such as an iPad 3 that I use and I use that in a kind of top-down design so if I show you what that looks like on the freehold camera I can actually look up here and I've got uh, a kind of it's actually meant to, to clamp an iPad in a car but using this IKEA unit I've actually been able to clamp it to a kind of diagonal top-down view so I actually can have it facing down over my shoulder facing the keyboard down here which is really really useful so that is uh, a very quick way of how you can use this as a way in which you can um, help promote your music making and also using multiple angles multiple cameras you could have different people in your house have got iPhones either old or new the app will work obviously you can use a main device as your director as your switcher device which I use with an iPad I use a work iPad I've got a personal iPad and I've also got a phone which is doing this main view over here have a look and I will see you in the next video where we'll look in a bit more deep and specific detail about switcher studio for musicians be part of my patreon clan if you want to be part of my clan and support me to help you make your music masterpiece and head over to patreon.com forward slash you and Smith where you can support me along with all these wonderful people that already have
The video on the top is one that I think you will love and the one on the bottom is one that YouTube thinks you will enjoy. If you would like to know more about how to make your music masterpiece then don't forget to click like and subscribe. See you in the next video next week. Bye bye.